Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the new Sartorius Entrance Analytical Balance. This model is uh, the Entrance 214-1S. It has a weighing capacity of 220 grams in resolution to four decimal place in grams. So that's 0 .0001 gram or a tenth of a milligram. Um, the Entrance Series is now available as of March 2014. Again, this is a brand new model. Basically, this is uh, Sartorius' replacement to the discontinued ED and GK series that were discontinued in 2012. Uh, basically, the functionality of the balance is the same as the ED and GK models. Um, same tactical keypads here, same exact um, functionality of each key. So you have a right and a left tear button. You have an on-off switch, a cal. This is clear function. This is your select menu to get into the menu functionality of the balance. This is to uh, the enter button for entering the configuration of the balance. And all the way over on the right hand side is the print key. Um, the new series is uh, uh, Rome compliant, which means that there's uh, uh, they've taken a look at their PC board and replaced the lead content there. So um, Rome compliant is required so that they have uh, very low levels of dangerous substances like the lead, the cadmium, the mercury, and other chemicals. So uh, Sartorius had to do this in order to export the balance all over the world. Um, so the new series also has a new microprocessor in it. Uh, it's a very nice balance. It's a mon um, Sartorius is monolithic cell. So you're going to get great performance out of the balance. You'll see right now I have 220 grams on the balance and how well the balance is reading it. And I have a lot of powerful lights around this right now. So uh, they create a lot of electronic noise, yet the balance is performing spectacular. Um, so as I mentioned, the overlay has changed on the ED series. It was a white overlay. Now it's a black overlay. Um, Sartorius also on the side of the balance, which I'll rotate afterwards, uh, they um, have some printing that says that this is the entrance series, similar to their Cuba, uh, similar to their Practum and Quintet series. So calibration of the balance is very simple. We can walk go over the calibration and how easy that is. Um, all the entrance series are external calibration only. So to perform calibration, first you want to level your balance. On this particular model, you have two adjustable feet in the front. You have a sprint bubble indicator in the upper left-hand corner. This balance has been on for at least an hour. So uh, you always want to have your balance on for a minimum an hour before doing a calibration. The balance also has to be level. So to perform calibration, it's just simply a matter of pressing the cal button. You'll notice the display said external cal, and then it flashes the required weight. So you need a 200 gram class 1 weight, which I have here. You always want to wear a glove so that your oil and your fingers do not touch the weight and change the tolerance. You also always want to close the door and you'll notice the balance says 200 cals in the lower left hand corner and in a minute the balance will confirm the calibration. It says cal n, calibration is complete. So that's how simple it is to do a calibration on this balance. Remove the weight. You always have to close the doors with these balances. Best to still hit the tear button to tear the balance. Open the door. Put your cal weight in the center. And the calibration is complete. So this is the entrance series. Uh, it's Sartorius's basic series. And, um, you do have uh, plenty of advanced weighing applications like parts counting, percent mode, even density determination. You have a three-door glass draft shield with this balance. The balance can be opened from either the right, left, 
or the top of the balance. The glass draft shield is not removable. It's permanently affixed, but you can um, take off these doors and wash them by unscrewing the little knob here in the back of the handle and this glass would come out so if you wanted to put it in the dishwasher. The balance comes standard with a dust cover. So this plastic dust cover can be placed on the balance when the balance is not in use. This is standard with the entrance analytical series. Um, other options, again, calibration weights are highly recommended. Um, and this particular model, the entrance series, requires a 200 gram calibration weight. If you review the specifications on our website, we specify exactly what calibration is required for each balance. Um, going over the sides of the side of the balance, as I mentioned, Sartorius marks it as entrance series. And this is how they're doing all their new balances. So if you buy a Practum series, a Quintet series, or a Secura series, the theme is basically to have the series of balance um, screened on the side of the balance. Uh, on the rear of the balance, we have a 25-pin serial interface. This would be used if you wanted to connect the balance to an optional Sartorius YDP20 printer, which we also offer. This is an optional accessory. Um, if, you want, if you're required to be GLP compliant, you needed a um, traceable uh, paperwork on what you're actually weighing. It would record the date, the time, the serial number of the unit along with the weight. Uh, this is an optional accessory and that would you that would if you buy the ydp 20 printer it comes with the cable that's needed to go from the balance to the printer um, if the serial interface on the back of the balance could also be used for data acquisition you would have to buy the optional satorius rs232 cable so this is a stand this is satorius's cable it's not a standard serial cable um, I would highly recommend you buy the cable. If you want to try to make your own cable, you can refer to the user manual and it does explain the pinout. But this is not a standard cable that you could find in a computer store. So the 25 pin would plug into the balance. On the other end is a 9 pin. That 9 pin would go to your um, computer. But most computers do not have a serial interface. Nowadays, they all come USB, so we do sell the serial cable with this optional RS-232 to USB interface. So basically, you would just daisy chain it together like such. You do have to load a driver, and it's basically emulating a USB. So it's not a true USB, um, but this is uh, one way to do data acquisition. Many people have uh, bought this setup, and it's worked very well for them. Um, on the rear of the balance, again, you do have on the back here, uh, this is a security um, hub where you can put a cable through it if you wanted to lock it down. A lot of universities uh, do um, lock down their balances. On the bottom of the balance, uh, again, you have two adjustable feet in the front. I don't want to flip it over because I don't want the uh, weight pan on the inside to fall out. So this... Uh, this is Sartorius's new economy version. Um, the balance is presently uh, assembled and made in Germany. Eventually, I believe Sartorius is going to stop building these in the U.S., but right now they're all made in Germany. It's a high-quality balance and uh, very affordable for the laboratory. We highly recommend it for those people that are looking for value. They're looking for value, but they're also looking for performance. Again, I always say Sartorius holds the Guinness Book of World's record for the most accurate balance in the world. And they've been building balances for 145 years. If you have any questions, please contact us. We're Precision Weighing Balances. And you can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. We're an authorized Sartorius dealer.